Hi, welcome to the homestead. So glad you're with us today. Today we're going to do a bunch of little menial tasks because it's way too hot to start our major project. Our major project we want to start is we're going to start digging a hole over here and moving dirt from here, this area over here, to the area in the very far back of the property where we need to level it so we can do lease, shop, and garage. That's our next build. And so that's going to be a lot of work. It's over 100 degrees today, and so we're going to postpone that particular task and do things that we put off um, that are just dumb little tasks. And one of the things I'm going to be doing, which is hot and no fun and that's simply just working in the clothes closet we brought some tubs of clothes that um there are winter clothes that we're just going to put in there and uh, hang some up and put some in the drawers and and so that's a job that one it's too dark in there to even see and a job that's just boring so you're not going to get to see that but there are some other little tasks we will be doing I'm going to be wearing my trusty blue headband today. And yes, I am going to look like I am a 1980s aerobic instructor, but it does keep the sweat from dripping down my eyes. And so, you know what I was thinking about the other day? I was thinking about how when you watch movies of people in the country, um, and I'm not talking about modern movies, I'm talking about movies where people were probably in their 30s and they looked like they were in their 60s, or, or people that just uh, women especially where they just look kind of plain Jane I'm getting to understand why that is because it is so hot out here and we work so hard that it is hard to be pretty and uh, think about what we look like I used to look better until I started working in, on this property which made me think that uh, liberal women in cities that think they're all that in a bag of chips are nothing compared to the country woman who works her butt off and uh, she's smart and she and she works hard and she could probably bring down any one of those city folks because I am now becoming a country woman I speak for myself as well it's hard work out here and you can't be wearing a lot of makeup doing it anyway that's just a little side note let's get busy with today's projects Yesterday, we came through here and we weed-eated this area right here. Well, this is where the tree had fallen and it fell onto a dead tree that had lots of thorns. Those branches broke into small pieces and they um, are kind of laying here. We cleaned up what we could, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to rake it. Um, and kind of clear this path because if we bring the lawnmower through here with those thorns, we don't want to pop the tires. So I'm going to just end up raking over here. This is what I was referring to. Things as small as this that are all thorns and you could see how that would easily go into a foot or into a tire. And then also there are some thicker ones that have some thicker type of thorns. And then there's this, this the little longer ones that are left out here with thorns. And so these things get pretty sharp. We don't want to run over them and we certainly don't want to step in, on them Yesterday, there's no way to make that look good. Yesterday, um, I got two stuck into my shoe and they, 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 my soles are thick enough to where only the very tip ended up going through. And let me tell you what, it hurt though because it went into my foot. And uh, so we do not want these in our pathway between here. So that's why I'm cleaning it up.
good enough. We'll let the rest just mulch in. But uh, I got the area that the thorn tree had crushed and crumbled right here. So that's good. We really don't have any place to put this grass. We've been letting it mulch back into the ground, but when there's a lot of thorns, we have to rake it up. And we end up with big haystacks of, uh, of grass that's just sitting there rotting. And it, it'll be good. It'll turn to, you know, it'll rot and turn to dirt. And uh, we have a pile over here in the trees that we put there last year um, in the winter time, and uh, we haven't cleaned it up yet. We'll get to it, but that little section right there is not our priority, so we uh, just leave it. And the wet I just raked over into the side won't be our priority either until we start working on getting this tree uh, burnt up and put away. So anyway, next task. For my next task, it's a pretty big one. It's trying to separate these green tubs. I was able to separate several of them out months ago, but these have been stacked up and they're really locked in there. And so I need to start trying to get them separated so we can actually use those tubs. Those tubs are our growing tubs. So this is where we're gonna end up growing our garden and stuff inside these tubs. Um, not right away because <laughs> It's kind of hot and nothing will grow out here without water. But uh, we'll, we're gonna try to get everything ready for next spring. So let me go ahead and try to separate these tubs. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. If not, we'll have to get Lee's help and see if he can help me do it. gonna go get a hammer. This one's broken. There's quite a few broken ones in here actually. Hi. Hey, you wanna? Nope. I'm being successful. You got two off. Got two off. We bought these buckets from a farmer who uses these as cow lick buckets. There's some salt licks, mineral lick thing that's in there. They put them out in the field. Then they gather them up and they stack them up and then they sell them off for a couple bucks a piece. And so we bought two really, really big stacks. We've already used eight of them over in the other area. And so we have these now. But unfortunately, we did end up with two severely broken ones. One or two that's cracked at the rim, but they're still, they're still usable. So maybe Lee can cut them off nice and straight where they've been broken and we can use the lower part. And uh, this is what we're gonna plant our garden in next spring.
Okay, although we separated all the tubs, we're only gonna use five right now because we only have five of the two cubic yards of dirt left, so we, we're only gonna do five. Plus, I'm not even sure if I have enough bottles to fill the five. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about when I say bottles, stay tuned and you'll get to see the rest of the project. Okay, what I'm gonna do, as soon as this utensil um, heats up, is I'm going to put two holes in the top and two holes in the bottom of all of these uh, bottles. We're gonna use them inside of those green tubs as um, wicking buckets, so they kind of automatically water. When it rains, the bucket will fill up. We'll have holes five inches from the ground in the bucket and so anything excess will just drain out it'll suck into the bottle it'll, the bottles they'll raise up and then they will slowly uh, leak out into the uh, soil and it will wick it up to water the plants that's the plan anyway and so we have some plants growing in some of these buckets they're not very big because of the extreme heat and because they are the wrong kind of flowers for the wrong season, but we do have some green that's growing because of these self-watering buckets. And so that's what we're gonna do. And there's a whole bunch. We've got two really big bags that we've been saving. And so now it's time to do that. I've got five buckets. We're gonna set them all in and we'll see that here in a minute. And, uh, and then we're gonna fill them up. I also have some straw and so my thinking is is that I'm going to test this um, instead of doing all dirt I think I might throw in some some grass too, um, some of this straw to kind of uh, fill it up um, they don't say anything about straw in there but I think it can't hurt uh, I have no idea anyway gotta wait till this warms up What works best is milk carton jugs, but I don't have milk carton jugs. And so I do have soda bottles, water bottles, and uh, miscellaneous bottles. Some of these bottles we got from our daughter's house. This is where we'll find the milk carton jugs. Yep, it's not very many because during the summer they haven't really been eating cereal. School year started, so they'll probably eat more cereal.
Okay, so I've got to drill the drain hole in these. It's not a big deal. It's a half inch bit, five inches up from the bottom. Two more. Okay, since Lee got the pipes ready and the holes drilled, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the bottles in place, standing upright, really tight in all of these tubs. Okay, I only had enough uh, bottles to fit two of those containers. I have a few left over, and we do have a whole other bag we haven't put holes in yet. So I'm only going to do the two today. The whole purpose of doing them and trying to finish them off with at least some dirt is so they don't go blowing away if, if a windstorm comes up. And so I'll go ahead and I'll put some stuff in there. I talked about putting straw down first, and um, I think that might work, but... Maybe I should put a little bit of dirt first and then the straw. I need it to leach. Will it leach with the straw? That's the thing. You know, Lee, do you know? It's, will it leach with the straw? I would think so. I don't know. I don't know he doesn't put straw in him. I was following some guy on the internet. Anyhow, um, I'm not going to put the straw inside. I just made a decision. Just the dirt. I'm going to fill it up. One bag fits one of these buckets. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, Lee has moved our filled buckets just back here on the dirt area so we don't kill the grass it's trying to grow. And he also put the dirt bags over here next to those pallets that I had leaning against the tree again so we don't kill the grass. And, um, well, that's all we can do today. We'll finish the rest of the buckets on another day. I've still got that whole bag of... Um, bottles to put holes in and that should fill two more buckets since we were able to do two buckets with one full bag 
So hopefully that will be so. We still have three bags of dirt left, so I know I can do at least two more buckets. And hopefully we will be able to do a third. Maybe, um, uh, maybe our daughter has more milk cartons or something that's bigger that will allow us to have um, less plastic inside. Anyway, like I said, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Be sure to like and share and press that notification bell and uh, subscribe to our channel. Help us build up our numbers so that uh, we can fit into the algorithm a little bit easier. God bless you again. Bye-bye now.